Hey, hello all you poor people out there. It's Michael Dieterich. I'm just a poor boy. Welcome to another video. Now for those of you that saw my last video, I had gone to my local store and bought a couple of objects, a little raised plateau and a little uh, yes, box, and I decided to pour on those and they turned out fantastic and I really enjoyed this new idea of not pouring on canvas but pouring onto um, other objects. There's different challenges about how you tape them off and thinking about the direction and I decided to take that to the next level. So here in Holland they are currently um, relaxing some of the restrictions. Uh, we got rid of like two weeks ago, I believe, the uh, evening curfew. So uh, things are relaxing a bit. Uh, a lot of businesses, you can be, you know, outdoors, things like that. So things are going in the right direction, um, including some, you know, stores having less restrictions. The big restriction is social distancing, social distancing and the number of people in the store. Here in my little village in the north of Holland, about 15, 20 minute drive away from where I live, there is a little, yeah, little secondhand store just filled with, yeah, Curioso. And they're only open officially once a month. And they send a little email saying, hey, this Saturday we're open, we've got some new items in. And it's basically kind of like a, yeah, garage sale swap meet. They've got some interesting things. But I used to go there all the time when I did mosaics because I would find cheap things like oh look at this vase and it's got a little crack in it so it costs 50 cents but once I covered that in mosaics and grouted it it turned into a beautiful piece so the base costs nothing so I thought oh it's open today which is literally the day after I had done those first two pours and I thought oh let's go look so I drove there and um, I found three great items uh, so let's take a look real quick at what I have this first item is a like a little round bamboo box with a lid on it and I've decided I'm going to keep the bottom portion the way it is and I'm just going to pour along the top and have it drip over the sides. It is going to be absolutely lovely. Uh, the next item is this bowl. I love it. It's like a, yeah, a carved wooden bowl. Yeah, just like boring brown but a nice shape and I thought, oh, I am going to turn this upside down and let it drip. I'm going to completely protect the inside. At first, I was like, ah, should I pour the bottom? You're not going to see it. I decided to do it anyway, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll add a little gold border. So, yeah, I'm hoping that that's going to turn out lovely. This lip is my biggest concern. And finally, I found another one of these little storage boxes. Uh, it just says things on it. But the thing I love about it, this is the lid has a picture frame in it so you can make it personal and this one I've decided to uh, unscrew separate uh, tape off but I'm literally going to do the outside of both the lid and the box I'm excited to see how it turns out so there's some challenges involved in this but I'm willing to face them um, I still had some paint left over from uh, last night uh, but not as much. So I actually combined some of the paints together and made some new colors again. So now I have less colors, but enough paint to go around. And uh, let's see what happens when we get on with some of these new non-canvas surface pores. Take a look. Alrighty, guys. So I have already... Uh, check the consistency of the extra paints I had last night. I made them all a little bit thinner, actually. I took the objects that I showed you earlier in the video, and I have them prepped. So um, this is that little bamboo box. It's just the lid. I have it taped a little on the inside, but it should be okay. And I have a little supported on this base. I'm just going to do the top and the sides. This is the bowl. Um, it's actually going to be upside down, but um, I'm going to do like a little bit of a Dutch pour on this. And uh, I am going to just use the sticks a little bit to make sure I get enough paint here. And then I've just covered the inside. So I'm going to do that first and then I'll flip it for the Dutch pour. Then the box is in two pieces. I have the box itself. 
Um, I've taped the entire top of it so paint won't go on the inside and the bottom uh, just to be neat. And this is then the lid part with the picture frame. Great. So let's start preparing the cups. So small surface, small surface, medium, large. So I need... Um, I'm going to do pretty much three straight pours here. So I'm just going to mix up some cups. I'm not going to use the same cup because I find that if I tilt and go back, I'm going to muddy up the paint. So I'm going to make um, a small, medium, large is what I'm going to go for as far as the cup. Now, when I say small, medium, or large, I'm still just going to use one size of cup, but it's just going to be how much I uh, fill it, really. And then for the Dutch pour, I can do that one when I get there. So, let's start with these three, and we're going to call it small, medium, large from left to right. So for this one, I'm concentrating on pouring around the <coughs> edge. I don't mind if there's runoff, of course, but I would rather it ran to the outside because um, here, um, this is the, this is just tape. I'm going to put a little hole here in the middle because if there is a lot of um, runoff into the middle, I want it to be able to escape instead of pulling around the edges. And this is the middle one. Great. Here we go. Looks great. Beautiful, just enough gold hints there. But I am concerned about how much paint is still here on the middle and the inside. So all I'm going to do is pull 
pull some of it away from these edges so that it drains through the middle here. Great. This corner has way too much paint. I just don't want it to dry against these inside edges and cake up too much. Now, tomorrow morning, I'll come up and hopefully it'll be that nice stage where you go it's not quite dry yet but I can grab that masking tape of the middle here and pull it off that's great yeah I'm happy with that very happy with that so yesterday's tissue box I just did the lid and for this box I thought I'm gonna try doing the whole thing and see how that looks uh, at least on the outside now this one's nice this middle section has a piece of uh, glass where you can put in a photo and a little secure thing on the back okay I'm just going to as always do a quick scrape I love that gold there, but I was came around the corner. I thought, let's just check that back side. Saw a little piece. I was like, I don't think that's white paint. I think that's just an empty little spot. Same thing here. Let's give it that. Just a little touch of gold is nice. Okay. Now, because it's such a small composition, I'm not like super, super concerned there's such small items and like my table is level and I didn't even check these tonight and I'm just gonna trust it's okay and if they do move a little ah uh, well but I'm gonna move this one a little further away so I can get to my next piece yeah I might as well just put it in the middle there Lovely. Here we go. Love it. Love it. I am also going to do a quick scrape of this and the function of this scrape as well is to get a little paint on that uh, inside lip I have taped the inside of the this lid um, and even though you really won't see it I don't want there to be a yeah a messy line so I tape the inside of this really nice and I just left the the lip that I'm now scraping open so I am scraping to get the paint off but it's not going to take all of the paint off I mean it's just getting all the excess and it should leave enough paint on there to give me a nice uh, coat so here we go with this one this one is all going to be about it pouring down the um, sides to get all the way down. So for this one, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pour it in my hands so I can tilt it. Uh, so instead of pouring like right here on the top and hoping it drips down, I'm going to actually hold it at you know, here at an angle so that when I pour, it will flow where I need it to go. Yeah. I'm going to start with uh, this is the back, so I'm going to start with the side here. Um, get my little spot ready. Here we go.
great. Lovely. Oh, that front is absolutely gorgeous. Super, super happy. Uh, yeah, everything's covered. Let's just kind of slide you over where you need to be, buddy. Great. So as you can see, I've put some tape here on the inside um, of the bowl. I've really flattened it down, but this edge is still exposed. And so I do want that to um, have some color. So I'm actually just going to use the extra paint that was in here to start with. Okay. It's great that I've been able to use kind of like the excess of every previous cup to fix um, something I needed on the next pour. Great. I'm going to start with like a base. Now, of course, I've got all this paint over here, and I'm looking at this, and I'm going, wow, it's already really pretty, just like it is. So, yeah, it's just not quite enough coverage. So, I am just going to do a little um, adding. Now the interesting thing about this is you may have been looking and going, wait, the bottom, it was so pretty. Yeah, don't remember, don't forget, this is the bottom. So you're not going to see this. And I was like, I'd rather spread some of those colors. Now you can't see what's happening on the side, but now I got like a little bit more white cream effect here. Got a little bit more of this gold off here and here. So when the bowl is upright, it will be much prettier, trust me. So now I'm going to really quick... Uh, do a quick scrape of my uh, little things box. Now I did thin out tonight's paint quite a bit because with fluid art we're normally almost always, like with these ones, we're horizontal. But tonight we were working vertical and I really don't want it to hang too much you know i don't want it to to get b blobby and like have a, a have a like drip marks yeah so i made it a bit thinner and that definitely helped with tonight's um, end products now that we're here as well let's just quickly torch both glaze looks fantastic. Last thing I'm going to do on the bowl for tonight is um, this is the one that I'm like nervous about in a way just because with vases and stones and with bowls because it's rounded the tendency for the paint to continue to drip is bigger. Now I'm not so worried about ruining the composition on this because as I look I go yeah I'm really happy 
and I don't think it's all going to disappear because I blew so much off. Uh, but because it's thinner paint, it's going to drip anyway. Yeah. Now remember, I painted underneath there, and yeah, look at how much paint came off there. Maybe not necessary. Um, I am scraping, but I'm trying not to like really, really scrape hard because I don't want to take like the paint off the lip of the bowl either. I don't think it's going to be a problem because like I said, it's going to continue to drip. Uh, I'm just going to get up early tomorrow and check because the one thing I don't want is, especially with the PVA glue in the mix, I don't want to get like the stalactite feeling that you've got like drips frozen in time and then when you turn the bowl upside down they're sticking straight upwards great okay guys uh, for me it's a good night uh, and for you it's I'll see you in two seconds two one and look at that with the magic of video here I am um, it is actually not the next morning it is actually more than a week later because what I did was I just let them dry and then I did some embellishment and I did varnishing already and I'm actually ready to show you uh, the final products. I'm actually very, very pleased with how all three of them turned out. All very different, but all great. Let's start off with the round uh, bamboo box. So this pour actually turned out being nice, but I thought the composition was just like, okay, it could have been better but it's nice, yeah? I added some gold, but then I went to my hobby room and I found these bling bling, uh, uh, like little jewels, and I thought, you know what? Let's frou-frou this one up, and boy, it just turned out great. I could not be happier with this. Oh, great. The next uh, piece was the bowl. Let's take a look at that bowl. Here's the finished product. I did completely tape off the inside, so that kept its original finished and I did the outside and the edge so if you wanted to like eat out of this and put like nuts in it you could wouldn't recommend this for the dishwasher of course you can see this beautiful gold edge I put around it and the bottom yeah it's funny it turned out gorgeous even though you're not going to see it I decided to do it anyway but if this was in a shop or an exhibition someone's gonna pick it up and fall in love with it so I'm glad I did the bottom anyway it's great Let's talk about this last object. This is my absolute favorite piece. It was this little box. Could be like a little jewelry box or you could put your little keepsakes in it. It's lovely. If you look at the front and the sides, it turned out great. There's this little ribbon that keeps the lid from flipping back too far. I taped it off so that the inside is nice and clean. Uh, but you can put a picture in it and now let me flip this down and look oh this is Harris by the way this is my sweet sweet boy and it's funny because I go is it the dog that's making me want to keep this box or not uh, you can put your own picture in it and make this a completely personal box I think it's absolutely lovely I'm gonna put this one on my site for sale and I am definitely going to add a uh, dog not included because he is staying with me oh I love it so this was another successful attempt at these non-surface pours, even with the challenges, especially of that bowl. Um, now in the long run on the bowl, I did end up repainting the lip. I just went with a nice gold, but it just turned it into a nice little accent and tied everything uh, together. Um, everything else worked out exactly as planned. Uh, the embellishments on the bamboo box, and yeah, someone is definitely gonna fall in love with that little photo frame box. So I do have upstairs some more objects. I've actually already unscrewed them and cleaned them and taped them. And there will be a third and a fourth installment of this. And I'll probably continue into the future. However, before I pour those next objects, I am definitely going to have to finish this commission piece for Australia, but uh, you'll see that video coming out real soon. I hope you enjoyed this. All my poor people, thanks for watching. My name is Michael Dietrich. I'm just a poor boy. We'll see you next time.